So, the Supreme Leader of Ontario, Ayatollah Doug Ford, has decided to expel blasphemer Roman Babber from Parliament, or sorry, from caucus, for his audacity of speaking out against lockdowns, for his audacity of using science to make an argument, his audacity of pointing out the increase in suicide, divorce, domestic violence. How dare, how dare Roman Barber try and represent the people of Ontario? Doesn't he know? That after Bill 195, Doug Ford is the only one whose opinion even matters? Now, this is what you get for not standing up to him back then, like Belinda Kalaharos did, but good on him for, for growing a pair and doing it now. Now, all sources inside Parliament say, here's a fascinating thing. This is actually the majority opinion within Conservative Caucus. A lot of them are quietly supporting Rumor is, Doug Ford actually also agrees with Roman Babber here, but he was expelled from caucus. Now, why is this? Now... There, there, there's a bunch of different reasons. I'm going I'm to lay them out. So th the most likely one is what we've been reporting for a while, is what we're hearing from the MPPs, is that the health experts, the doctors are actually liberals. The, the scientific experts we're putting in are actually liberals. And they're sort of blackmailing Doug Ford into saying, you know, if you don't go along with these restrictions, we're going to quit and say you're murdering people and you'll never win an election. And then the liberals win. And if he does go along with the insane things they're proposing, well, then his base will abandon him and then the liberals will win. Right? And he doesn't have the courage to stand up to them. You know, that's one thing we're hearing. Here's another interesting thing on, on the Roman Babber thing that I'm going to give you. And this comes from sort of, and this is not any, not anything I've heard recently, but piecing together um, rumors, and, and not, not rumors, but like, you know, things I, I, I've heard in the past. Um, this could hurt Doug Ford a lot because he is actually going to lose a significant portion of his base here. And if Roman Babber joins Jim Kalaharos' new party, the new blue party, you could see an interesting shift where the Jewish community kind of goes there because... There are no more Jewish MPPs left in the Conservative Party here. The two big ones, Gila Marto has gone federal, and Roman Babber was the other one uh, it, who went in provincial uh, elections. So there's this sort of thing of like, oh, they actually might lose a part of the voting bloc. Now, the Jews are such idiot voters that they'll probably vote for the liberals. The liberals will probably put forward so, like an actual anti-Semite. Probably they'll, they'll run Yasser Arafat's corpse and under the liberal party, and in, in friggin' Fourth Hill, they'll vote for, oh, Yasser Arafat, liberal. Okay. Moving on, though. But you could get a significant part of the conservative Jewish community just abandoning the conservative party, going to the new blue party. But here's the actual interesting thing. Could there be another motivation for specifically kicking Roman Babber out? And that is the money currently flowing into the conservative party. Now, there's a terrorist rally in uh, every year in Canada, across the world, sponsored by a rank called al Quds Day. And al Quds Day is a big terrorist rally support. They, it's literally founded by the Islamic Republic of Iran. They'll, they hand out t-shirts with the Ayatollah's face on them. They, I, I was the one who, I was there and I was like, See, they're waving the Hezbollah flag that's a listed terrorist organization. And the police were protecting them. I'm like, that's terrorism support right there. Well, someone's looking into it. No, they're not. Doug Ford, John Tory, uh, ran being openly opposed to Al Quds Day. They say, we're not going to let Al Quds Day happen. We're not going to let Al Quds Day happen. Roman Babber was the one who put forward a private member's bill to actually stop the terrorist march on Al Quds Day. And it was killed by Chief. The guy who raises the most money inside the Conservative Party, and that's Khalid Rashid. And this is what people inside the party were telling me. MPP Khalid Rashid, who was parachuted into the nomination. There were five people going to run for his spot to become the Conservative nominee for MPP. The night before the election, four of them were disqualified and Khalid Rashid was put in there. Thanks, Patrick Brown and his inner circle. You know who you are. So Khalid Rashid actually raises more money than anyone else in the party. Where is this money coming from? Probably the Muslim Brotherhood. So Khalid Rashid is bringing in the money, and Khalid Rashid was the one who killed the Al Quds Day bill because Khalid Rashid consistently supports organizations with links to the Muslim Brotherhood and terrorism. Look at the pictures of him, the ISNA, three terrorism funding violations by the Canadian government. So there could be a thing, there could have, it, it is possible, and this I don't know, it could be very possible that there has been, you know, a lot of pressure put on by the Islamists who are giving money to Doug Ford and the Conservatives to get rid of Moen Babber because Roman Babber tried to stop their little terrorist parade. Now, I don't know that for sure. I'm just saying that is a distinct possibility. Uh, Roman Babber might have been saying, you know, terrorism is bad and that's bad for the money in Canada. In Canadian politics, you want to make lots of money? The more pro-terrorist you are, the more money you will get in whether it's Islamist, Khalistani, you name it, uh, Communist Party of China, the more corrupt you are, the more terrorism you support, the more likely you are to get into office. It's just a thing. And by Roman Babar being probably the most anti-terrorist... Now, no one would fit my qualifications of actually being anti-terrorist within the Conservative Party of Ontario or, or even the federal government at this point, but probably the most anti-terrorist person in 
uh, conservative caucus in Ontario was Roman Baba. So was that the reason why he was sort of extra likely to get the boot? This is a pretty bad political move for Doug Ford. I mean, Doug Ford is not the smartest guy in the world. He's not the dumbest guy. He should have known that he could lose a majority amount of conservative Jewish support that Stephen Harper had garnered by kicking out Roman Babar um, to do this. Um, was the reason he kicked up Roman Babar? It is a distinct possibility, although I don't have evidence for it. I, I think it is highly likely that there was pressure put on by Islamist, Muslim Brotherhood supporters, terrorist foundations, um, sorry, charities, um, to get rid of Roman Barber, and this being a great excuse to do so, was that he stood up to the Fuhrer Doug Ford uh, when the Ayatollah said, you know, the lockdowns are great, and uh, Roman Barber, well, I will. there will be a link to uh, Roman Barber's uh, letter that he put out, and you can judge for yourself if that was reasonable or irreasonable and uh, expelled from caucus. But I'm just going to put that forward as, as another possibility, um, because we do know that the, uh, the Islamists, um, and the Muslim Brotherhood had been in conflict with Roman Babar and they had beaten him before when he tried to stop their little terrorist parade. Uh, they were able to throw enough money at Doug Ford to keep their little terrorist parade going. So could this be another instance of uh, another victory for the Caliphate over, over Canada? Maybe. I don't know. But that's a distinct possibility. I'll throw that one out there. Let's see who's going to sue me for this video. Ha <laughs> ha!